morning, guys. So this morning, we're traveling to Pampanga. We're going to the town of Bacalor to visit San Guillermo Church. As I said during my uh, last church feature, which was uh, about Betis Church, there are lots of historic churches in uh, Pampanga, and San Guillermo Church is one of them. But in addition to that, it's the church that was uh, half buried in lahar or mud when uh, the mud from Mount Pinatubo flowed down in 1995 and covered the town of Bacalor. So we'll, we'll go visit the church. And I'll be riding with Georgia, actually, because Georgia and I decided to sneak in one more adventure, which I will feature in a subsequent video. So I'm meeting up with George in a gas station, which is just right because, as you can see, I'm running low on fuel, so uh, I'll have to gas up as well. Oh, there's George. Uh, caught him on the road. Hey, George. Yo, man. Hey. <laughs> was that, was that, uh, he just turned you on, yeah? And yeah. We just hooked up like that, eh? Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> So here we are at San Guillermo Church. We've arrived. It's 7.30 in the morning. It's quite early. And uh, George and I are gonna enter. And let me show it to you. We all dream in every color Searching for something bigger And there's a fire deep inside It's getting ready to ignite We can believe if we open our eyes we reach for the light There is no limit We aim for the sky No hill we can climb Our dreams come alive San Guillermo Church was constructed way back in 1576, but sometime in 1880, it got destroyed by an earthquake and it got constructed sometime in 1886, and I believe the construction was finished sometime in 1897. And then Mount Pinatuba erupted on June 15, 1991. And in September, October 1995, mud flowed down from Mount Pinatubo all the way down to Bacalor town and covered the entire town in mud and basically buried this church halfway through in Lahar. But the people of Bacolor decided not to abandon the church and so they, they fixed it up and fixed the interior as well, saved the altar and everything and kept it this way. So it remained buried or it remained half buried in Lahar. This bell tower actually looks quite short, right? Because normally they're five stories tall and this one looks a bit short and if you look down here you will see just 
fix the camera. You will see here that this is actually an arc, right? And so, so this was probably a full window above another layer of uh, window. But then, as you can see, it's the ground just basically sliced it off here. So this is an, this is one of those obvious signs that that tells you that the church was actually buried in mud or in lahar. And the church window here, sorry, the, and the church door, as you can see in comparison to, to George, it's not that high. And once again, it's because the church was actually half buried sometime in 1995. So let's enter and see how it looks like inside and you'll see lots of signs that show you that it actually was buried by Lahar. So if you will notice and I don't know if it's obvious in the camera the ceiling of the church actually looks quite low but as a matter of fact the reason why it looks quite low is because originally the ceiling was twice this height and so as you can as i said a while ago when uh, the church got buried in lahar it was half buried and the people decided to rebuild the church as it was so now it looks like it has a low ceiling let me show you some other indicators so someone who is not aware of the actual history of this church would also think that this is a rather low window, right? But in actual fact, it's because this window was actually much taller, except that the mud flows reached that part, reached this height. So that's another indication, the low windows and then we have the low ceiling height, right? But this speaks a lot about the fate of the people in this town and in Pampanga as a whole. Despite it being buried by mud flows, the people made extra efforts to still adapt and rebuild this church. This church was, was a tourist attraction even before the eruption of Mount Pinatubo in 1991. But now, after the achievement of all the townsfolks in rebuilding this church, there's another reason for tourists to come visit. And it's precisely to, to witness how they were able to rebuild this church even after it got half buried in Lahar. And as you can see, the the altar is very ornately designed. I, I would imagine that before this was buried in Lahar, the, it was much higher and more imposing, but now it's quite small with just two layers of niches, but they still maintained the beauty and originality of the entire altar. And so we have one main altar here, and then there appears to be two small art altars, two minor altars to the left and to the right. If you're ever by Pampanga or to the north of Manila, I would suggest dropping by this, this lovely church and seeing uh, for yourself firsthand how the people here in this town were able to rebuild the church and maintain it despite the fact that it was buried in 1995, half deep into Lahar. So let's check out the museum. So we're now entering the museum, which is to the right side of the church. When you enter the, the main door, you'll see immediately to the right side, there's a door and this is the museum. Here's the actual entrance to the museum. And let's go visit George here because he's looking at the actual photos of the church before 
Lahar. It's this level now. Oh, yeah, yeah, or, or yeah. maybe here, this level, right? No, I think they turned this into the wall. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh! Because you know where you first looked at that window there? Yeah. Where you're filming? That was, I think the level was here. Oh, you're right. So, yeah, so it's, it's half. So if this is the, this is the painting of the old church, right? And they say it was half buried by Lahar. So this this was the main door. It was much larger. And you'd think that the door is so small because in fact it's just a niche. It's just a window. And this is where it was. Yes. Right. That's right. So 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 the top window is now the door. Okay. Fascinating. Yeah, fascinating. You can see the mud flows, right? They just continue to build on top of this, some of these houses. Which one? They just continue to build on top. So it's sunken. Oh. Or covered, rather. And they just basically start to build on top. They just built new structures. The structure is still adequate, right? They didn't bother to dig it up anymore yeah, and yeah. just built it. Yeah. So this is the Adoration Chapel. Now, one would really have to bend to enter <coughs> because the doorway is really quite low now. This is the Adoration Chapel. Yeah. So it's quite a challenge now to, to, to go through. Okay. You can almost touch the, the, the chandelier and the beams, you could almost touch the beams. It's interesting how they're able to maintain the original structure and, and work around the fact that the, the church was half buried in volcanic mud. Okay. I didn't notice that you could actually go up the bell tower. Yes. Yes. And here are the old bells of the church. Wow. Wow. This is a treat. So this bell is actually dated 1898. And this other bell is dated 1843. Yeah. Because that's interesting. This is originally here. So your feet don't, don't get enough. So, mm -hmm. so they chipped away here, right? Oh, yeah, that's to make more, more, more space. So your feet uh, are more planted as you know. This, this set of stairs are really, really so narrow. narrow. One would wonder how, you're, how you'd be able to go up here. So those steps lead up to this wooden portion here. Is that what you're saying, George? Yeah. And then, um, yes, yes, yeah, very tight. Our dreams come alive. Ooh. Through high 
highs and lows and every struggle we scale these walls and jump through hurdles there's no surrender no defeat we will conquer Okay everyone, so that was San Guillermo Church and as you can see it's a very beautiful church and it attracts a lot of uh, tourists not only because of the fact that it was half covered by Lahar but also because of its historical relevance but what inspired me more about this church is the fact that the people in this town were able to adjust to the challenge of uh, the Lahar, the mud flows and still you know rebuild and uh, find a way to continue using this church and continue with its uh, services. So if you're ever here in the province of Pampanga, I suggest you drop by Bacolor and visit this beautiful and historic church. Okay, so George and I will now continue on with our journey and I'll catch you in my next video. Ciao!